Hi, this is a video tutorial on how to use the Auto JCM features of the updated DAS to Blender Bridge version 2022. So I'm starting out with DAS Studio opened with a uh, Gen Genesis 8 female figure with uh, some clothing on. And uh, I'm just doing a bra and uh, underwear so that we can see the uh, morphs applied. So I click File send to DAS to Blender, and I leave the asset type as Skeletal Mesh. I enable Export Morphs, and I click Choose Morphs. And now here, down here, uh, in Add JCMs, we're going to add Arms, Legs, Torso, and click Accept. Then I'm going to click Accept here to transfer to Blender. And we'll wait for this to complete, click OK, and then switch over to the Blender 3.2. In Blender 3.2, let's open up the Blender tool shelf up here on the right uh, edge of the viewport and click DAS to Blender tab, and then we'll click Import New Genesis Figure. And we'll wait for that to import. Once it's done importing, you will see this message here, and it says, for security reasons, automatic execution of Python scripts in this file was disabled. And this may look scary to you if it's the first time you've seen it, but it's the um, the the runtime scripts on the Blender side, which uh, uh, do the processing of the JCMs. So I'm going to click permanently allow execution of scripts here. You may just want to click allow execution. In fact, uh, probably that's the recommended uh, decision is uh, let's go with allow execution. So we'll allow auto JCM uh, to execute for this file. And now let's, uh, let's take a look at where these morphs are. I'm going to click on the base shape. And here on this side, we'll see these this triangle with uh, the vertices here. I'll click that and um, we'll close the vertex groups in, in shape keys. We'll see that there are all of these morphs and they're in purple, which means that they're not directly controllable, but they're uh, uh, linked to a uh, another property that controls them. And that property is actually the joint position. So let's go back and modify some joints to see if we can change some of these morphs. I'm going to switch over to the side view here and click this five point and turn on pose mode. And let's just rotate that up. And I'm going to rotate the shoulder up as well so that it's out of the way and we can see what's going on here. All right, and let's zoom in a little bit more here. And now I'm going to switch back to object mode, click on the shape, and you know, let's let's go ahead and uh, hide these bones for a second here so we can see the shape more clearly. And I'm going to turn on geometry, the wireframes, so we can see that more clearly as well. And now here we see that there are morphs here being applied. Thigh forward 57 degrees right is at one uh 1.0 strength, so it's full 100% strength. And if I turn this off, you see that the um, the morph gets disabled. And let's just hide this for a second so that we can see this more clearly here. So we can see that morph is being applied, and this morph here for the shoulder is also being applied. And so there you go, it's uh, automatic uh, joint controlled morphs in Blender. That's it for this tutorial.